Hey, what is up guys? It's Jamie G back here again. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. What I'm covering today is a couple of simple tips you can use on the Facebook Ads Manager if you ever find yourself with a couple of technical glitches. There is a few things you can do to basically alleviate things without having to rely on their uh, not always super helpful chat service that they offer. So anyway, if you are new here, my name is Jamie G. I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online and all things digital. So if any of that's of interest to yourself, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm going to be putting out. What I'm covering, like I say, is just a couple of simple tips. Now, the way this came about for me is because I run Facebook ads all day, every day. That's pretty much my main gig. Um, needless to say, when a technical glitch does come up, which you know, if you work on enough ad accounts, you are going to experience those from time to time. You need to work out how you're going to solve it. So for me, I've had some experience in, in I guess, customer service and um, working on a, uh, I guess, a, a trading platform. So I am sort of familiar with the processes that they do suggest you go through. So clearing your cookies and cache and restart your computer and try a different browser and all that sort of stuff. So that was my first point of, point of call. I went through those processes. Nothing worked. I thought, okay. Um, Facebook chat, you might have something to help me. So if you ever do need to access Facebook chat, just come up here, click on the uh, little question mark. Uh, they'll probably offer, if you do search there, they'll offer some guidance in terms of the articles and things to access. But what you want to do is scroll right down to the bottom and you'll have this button here, still need help. And uh, either click on the ad center or still need help. That'll take you over to this charming looking page over here. And from here, again, they're just going to run through a couple of different things that uh, can potentially help you out. So for me, what I um, basically what I tend to do is because I'm, I'm usually pretty sure by this stage what that I can't fix the issue. You're going through those normal routes that I would like I say, clearing cookies and cache, restarting different browser, all that sort of stuff. So what I tend to do is come up here to uh, where are we? Sorry, support. My bad. Click on support. And they do have operational hours for the Facebook chat service. So what you can do is just click, scroll right down the bottom there. Uh, and again, you know, if none of these uh, are your problem, these are the top questions that they have. Why is this happening? Blah, blah, blah. If you still need help, contact the support and that'll open up Facebook Messenger and you can start liaising with some of their staff. Now, just a word of caution and warning on that. Uh, you're not always going to get the best I guess, guidance, you, you do need to be somewhat patient with your issues because in my experience, the conversations are usually fairly drawn out. Sometimes there's a bit of a language barrier. You don't always get straight to the point directly. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously they're just doing their best. They've probably got multiple chats on the go. So uh, be kind to them, but uh, yeah, they will try and help you out. Um, and then if they can't, then they'll escalate it and they'll basically just be able to send you an email once something's been resolved. But in this occasion, I wasn't even aware of this, and it's my own ignorance. I've been working on Facebook ads for years, so I should have known about this. But if you've gone through those processes that I mentioned, so like I say, clearing your cookies and cache, uh, trying a different browser, uh, what else can you do, a, a restart, you know, all that sort of stuff. If, if it still is an issue, and it's likely by that stage that it's probably an issue with Facebook, what you can do is these three magic little buttons just up here, you can actually click reset your ads manager. Now, if we just go through this process, this is just a test account that I don't really use at all. Um, do you really want to reset it? Are you sure? Sure there's nothing there that you want to keep? Nah, man, get rid of it. Woo, -woo reset that. Um, and then that just resets it. And I know it sounds like a simple fix because it actually is, but uh, if you go through that process, I'm going to say probably nine times out of 10, that's going to fix your issue if it is a Facebook issue. Um, so yeah, like I say, I'm a little bit, um, a little bit gutted. I, I wasn't aware of that previously. I probably could have saved myself a lot of heartache from uh, contacting the, uh, the chat service there numerous times when something goes AWOL. Uh, but um, yeah, that's it. That's today's tip. And then obviously once that loads, hopefully it would have deleted the drafts that I had, which is fine. Like I say, this is just a, a test account that I use. And that, yeah, that's it. Basically, um, yeah, something to consider if you're ever getting stuck with uh, your ads manager. So anyway, my name is Jamie G. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.